Hello, what's up good people? Good to see you. Now, today I'm going to share with you three investments that you can actually go ahead and make. And guess what? Never work again. Don't lie to me. I know specifically right now, wherever you're working from, you aren't satisfied. And it's always your dream to actually achieve what we call the financial freedom, whereby you can put your money out there and the money work for you instead of you working for the money. Because there's something that I've realized in this life. When you work for money, you will rarely get it. And once you get it, it's never enough. But once you let the money work for you, that is usually the best. So today, in this video i will let you stick around and watch it to the end because i'm gonna share these magical three ways on how you can be able to invest your cash and never work again all right because i know you're working very much or rather you are working very hard so that at least you don't work again i also love that and i also love this investment they're actually like my three best or rather should i say like my best investment ever out there all right but before we do that guess what because i don't want you to miss any feature of my good videos because i always put good videos here about money about investment anything related to your cash in your pocket because i don't want you to miss that kind of a video i would like you to take one second then go ahead over down there on your right there is a button written subscribe it is in black just hit that magical button it disappears all right then on your left there is a button written like this that's a like hit those two magical buttons and guess what happens whenever i upload a new video you're never gonna miss any piece of it that's the importance because i know you're asking what's the importance of that now that's it all right so let's get to today's business all right so one of the investment and i'm gonna start with the that up to the first one all right so the third investment I would advise you to go ahead and put your money onto, I would advise you go ahead and put your money in things that we call the money market fund. The money market fund is quite a popular thing. Is I've been talking about that thing like all the time, all right? And I said you can start with as low as 100 shilling. Just imagine as low as 100 shilling. And they're giving you what we call a daily interest or a daily interest each and every day, which is compounded at a rate of 9.56%. And then you get all your money at the end of the year. Assuming that let's say you are 25, you employed somewhere you're getting a salary of let's like, say like 25,000 or something of sort or even 20 or even 15,000 right and then you'll be like this and say because you're getting 15,000 at the end of the month so that means that you're getting 500 each and every day so how about you dedicate like that 100 bob each and every day towards saving in money market fund so meaning that you'll be getting like your 12,000 at the end of the month yeah you know it all starts with the sacrifice so if you put 100 bob at the end of the day at the end of the month that 3,000 at the end of the year 3,000 times 12, that gives you like 36,000. So you'll have more than 40,000 or close to 40,000 at the end of the year. Say you were to do that for the next five, six or seven years. By the time you're hitting uh, 30, that one, that two, that three, that four, that five around there, you've already created yourself a very big portfolio of money or, or income whereby you're getting interest. And uh, then it's like, take this example. It's like you built your rental houses in, in, in a what? It's like you've built your rental houses in the virtue or in the cloud whereby you're downloading rental income each and every month, basically, which you'll get at the end of the year. So that's a one way that you can put your money out there. And I know you're like, okay, fine. Is it not for the rich? No, it is not for the rich. It's for the anybody. And I said the minimum that you can put out there, it's only a hundred bob. Can you imagine that? Just a hundred bob. So it doesn't matter whether you're employed or you're not employed. If you're self-employed and you're getting yourself like, let's say, 300, 400, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, you know, put that investment based on the capacity that you can be able to raise and then periodically with a period with a certain period of time then you'll be able to create yourself a very nice portfolio that you'll be getting money and i want you guys to please take this example take this example rather take this advice because i am telling you it works and it's an amazing example that you can go ahead and put it out there always let this stick to your head like that money or rather wealth is never an event it's always a process it needs sacrifice needs some hard work discipline and then you get yourself to a certain level whereby you don't even need to work hard for you to get money because at the end of the day those who work hard actually get less money compared to those who work smart but guess what it all starts with working hard before it goes to stacking as uh, working uh, 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 smart all right so the second one it's always about these issues of treasury bills, treasury bonds, and something of sort, all right? So this is a, these are investments that you can actually put your money out there and actually make something at the end of the day. And by the way, these are the safest types of investment that you can ever put your money into. And guess what? It's like, basically, when I talk of bonds and bills, I basically mean that you're lending out the government. There is a guy who gave me a call like less than a, less than a week ago, depending on when you're watching this video. So he gave me a call and told me, hey, you know what, Jeff, uh, Joseph, I just secured my bond of this. You know, recently government gave a, uh, an infrastructure bond of 17 excuse me 17 years and they are they want to get 50 billion and they are giving around 13 14 from 14 percent coupon I, I bet so so you can imagine getting 14 percent of your total investment semi-annually meaning after every six months for the next 17 years and it is tax free 
Oh, come on, guys. What? Where can you get such a good deal? That's a very nice deal, and you're actually lending your government or you're lending government money out there. And this is one of the ways that the government, or rather the banks, usually invest their money. You know that money that usually queue the teller, or maybe you send your mobile banking, and then you send to them. That money is a liability to a bank. So what they do, they take that money, invest in such areas like uh, the, like the treasury bills or something of sort, and then after that they get the interest. Because let me tell you one thing. Those banks, when you give them money, that's a liability. They have to make sure that the money is secured, safe, and sound. So that's why they usually give loans. They usually invest in those uh, treasury bills and what have you. So why don't you pick as early as this? Go ahead, open that CDS account from the CBK. And by the way, talking of CBK, uh, talking of CDS, next month they're gonna, uh, it's gonna be, uh, you know, possible for you to open a CDS account from the or from your phone and through, uh, just like from the comfort of your couch, you can just open up a CDS account and get started with the bills on bonds it's as simple as that so create a portfolio of that investment it's an investment that you know you are safe and you're secured and you'll be getting something at the end of the month at the end of the year or at the end of the six months which you call the semi annually and you'll be getting your money and that's how you grow yourself don't ignore these things that i'm telling you guys because this is how these wealthy and the rich usually invest their money and they get something at the end of the day because let me tell you one thing inflation is real inflation is there it is hitting us hard so if you put your money where you're getting something above the inflation then you get Getting yourself into the best way in terms of investment and that's actually the one way that you can actually put a house out there and you can go ahead and make money and you don't have to work again all right so now the first one we save the last for the best all right so the first one it's always you guessed it right that is the real estate if you have that enough money with you like a couple of millions out there because honestly when it comes to real estate it's a capital intensive investment which needs that a lot of money for you to get started but when I say a lot of money it does not mean like you have to have like tens of millions or something you can just start somewhere all right let me tell you one thing there's sort of like a spirit when you start building all right I do believe and subscribe to the understanding that once you break the ground and you start building it never ends you keep on building you keep on building as something of sort so if you have like your three four five billion out there and then you can just purchase yourself a piece of land then go there build the rental houses those are the investments that you can actually be able to get returns even when you're at old age when you don't even need to work and if you create yourself a very big portfolio honestly speaking you don't have you cannot even fit under someone's feather under someone's authority and something or so you know what i realized with money it gives you freedom it gives you that capacity to make a decision whereby you don't even need to make sure that or other way you don't even need to kind of you know what we call like you know you know be below somebody's authority or something of so because you can actually go ahead and make a decision by yourself so what i can advise is this if you have a couple of millions with you go ahead break the ground start doing the real estate and by the way when you talk of real estate there are kind of two different versions of the real estate you can do the real estate where you're building houses to rent them and you are renting them to the tenants or the other option you can actually do the real estate and be selling those pieces of units and something of sort guess what this is gonna ha this ain't gonna happen like in a magical way like you press a button everything is solved no it's gonna take time to build that portfolio because at the end of the day i always tell you and i'll keep on repeating this and whenever you get to listen to my video watch my videos you always get me saying this wealth is not an event it's always a process it takes time takes discipline takes some sacrifice before you transit to a point whereby now you become financial free so that at least you can be able to be making other things you know what i mean some places like maldives some places like mauritius seashells kenya whatever those are places that should be visited by you you know after investing after creating that portfolio but if you start arguing as early as this because you have a couple of tens of thousands with you and you're saying that life is short or oh, i have to throw some vibes or oh, i have to do this yeah why should you read it from that perspective you know that's poor mentality you're supposed to take that money put it somewhere work for you generate more income get the passive which i call the baby money now when you get the baby money now that one can take you to a leave you can get to yourself uh the nicest place that you can ever be in terms of hotel in terms of clothing and something of sort so it all starts with you getting that money invested somewhere making it making you what we call the passive income then from there you progress to what we call the financial freedom you know how i define financial freedom for me i I define financial freedom as situation whereby you know you can afford some you don't have that thing but you know you can afford it you know that the satisfaction that you usually have it inside of you it's not necessarily like for example for example you're somewhere and you see somebody with a very nice car right and you feel like okay fine that's a very nice car 
But at the back of your mind, you know very well, if you want that car, if you were to get that car, even if it's right now, we actually without even going back home, you can go back home with this car. You know, that is the satisfaction that it surely gives. And like when you see a very nice, forget even a car, when you see somebody taking a very nice meal and you know very well you don't even have money, I am telling you, usually that gives you stress and something also. So financial freedom is when you know very well. Financial freedom is not really when you're spending the money. Financial freedom is actually when you know very well that thing that you are admiring deep inside of you, you can actually get it at any moment. It's when you show up in a hotel, a very nice restaurant, and they're serving different cuisines, and out there you feel you don't even look at the area where or the section where they have written the prices. Just look at what you want to eat, and then after that, because you know the back of your head, there is nothing that they're selling that you cannot afford. That's what we call the financial freedom. That's the most. That is the ultimate goal to almost everyone here on earth. But guess what? Only less than 5% of such people actually achieve that financial freedom. The rest usually work from hand to mouth, running like cats and dogs here and there. I know cats and dogs games, with all you do respect, are out there so that at least they can achieve that. But there is a magical, uh, there is a silver bullet that you can be able to actually apply and then from there you can earn something and be a financially free because it is possible. Those are the areas that you can actually put your money into because I always say put your money where your mouth is or put your mouth where your money is. Whichever is easier for you to move, just do so but make sure the two of them meet at the end of the day so all right so my name is joseph because for you who do not know me my name is joseph talk about money talk about investment anything related to your cash i'm literally these guys who showed up when you get your salary and i tell you what only a fool devours everything take your time grow yourself put that money somewhere let it make baby money for you and then from there progressively get yourself to a certain point that's how and only way you grow yourself to the next level all right so if you would like to get any copies of my booklet investments about money market fund just like what i've said about treasury bills i have them ready about real estate about um what we call uh the the circles and shares and what have you i have all those ones about the business ideas business plans i have them i also write business proposals and such kind of a thing so if you want to get a hold of me then get my number from the description of this specific video just down there click that where it's written more then you get my number out there my email is still there then we can talk business and that's how we grow to the next level for now it's a goodbye and see the next one and don't forget to hit the subscription button so you'll be a member of this family see you there and goodbye